One hears it again and again from employers across our region and across the nation as a whole. Otherwise, qualified workers don't get hired because they won't take or don't pass a drug test. And it's more than anecdotal. Last year, a study by the American Action Forum determined that more than two million prime age individuals were not in the labor force due to opioids, with the largest negative economic effects hitting part of our region, the state of West Virginia. From 2000 to 2015, the prime age labor force participation rate across the country declined by almost four percentage points, slowing economic growth in the United States by more than one and a half percent. Dr. Jason Kirby lives this reality every day as medical director of Gateway Rehabilitation Center in Pittsburgh. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you, Bill. It's good to be here. Yeah, how about it? Do you see that? I mean, what, what are the statistics like here in our region? Well, I tell you, they're staggering, Bill. Um, you know, last year, according to the CDC, uh, 72,000 Americans died from a drug overdose related death, 66% of which were directly related to opiates. When you look at Pennsylvania as a whole, Pennsylvania is number three in the country as far as um, overdose related deaths. And of course it's this huge surge of opio uh, opioids and opiates that Absolutely. just shocked everybody. Absolutely. Years, so. Absolutely. You know when you look at where Pittsburgh is in relation geographically it really is it's directly in between Chicago and New York so um, and so so the drug trafficking route typically takes a turnaround uh, Pittsburgh to actually go south for the drug trades too. So it's so it makes Pittsburgh unfortunately a prime uh, spot for the drug trafficking. Wow, so we're right at the crossroads right. where a lot of this activity, a lot of this movement is happening. Right. So that means there's a lot of availability here, right. even, even more so than we would expect for a metro of our size. Right, absolutely. That's crazy. So from the standpoint of employers, if, if you know, they to try to identify these issues, many of them want to help their employees. Uh, can they have confidence that treatment can really make a difference for people who find themselves suffering from addiction? Well, absolutely, Bill. You know, treatment and recovery are possible, okay? Now, with opioids, opioids are a kind of a different animal. What we do know are that people with an opiate use disorder, people are less likely to complete treatment. They're more likely to leave before treatment is over. They're less likely to even try to attempt treatment. And unfortunately, as you're, as you're probably well aware, they're more likely to overdose. Um, what we do at Gateway is we have a holistic approach where we take all facets, all four facets of the disease of addiction, incorporate the biological, psychological, social, and spiritual facets into a treatment plan individualize that treatment plan for that person and that's what and that's what the study showed to be the most effective but always there's been that moral undercurrent oh yeah be strong Just oh yeah give it up cold turkey absolutely if you bull your way through you'll be okay but for people who are truly suffering from addiction right. that's often not the case it's often not helpful you know and and what we do now know is because of the the I, I say it all the time to both my patients but also the staff and, and the community if there's one good thing to come out of this epidemic. One good thing, it's that the amount of money that has been soaked into research on treatment and overall outcomes data has been pretty vastly superior to what we've been dealing with. So what we know is that you know an approach, a holistic approach like what we take here at Gateway um, has the it has, has, has a very good chance to being to, to getting people into treatment and, and keeping people treatment long term. Yeah, we only have a little bit of time left, but I want to, your footprint is mostly Pennsylvania, our region, right? right? Uh, but I, I was in my opening, I talked about the, just the, the dire situation down in right. West Virginia, right across the border, only 40 miles from here. Right. Uh, is that an area that the Gateway is looking at, right. potentially serving? Well, so, you know, I, I briefly mentioned that Pennsylvania is number three in the opiate uh, overdose uh, rate in the country as of last year. Well, West Virginia is number one. Wow. They average 57 overdose deaths per 100,000 people in the state. It's staggering. Um, my platform and, and Gateway's platform as an, as an organization is we need to get people help if they want it. We will increase access. Nobody will be denied. People deserve treatment if they want to get it. So we are launching initiatives to, um, to uh, go into West Virginia, go into Ohio. We now accept Ohio Medicaid. We're working on West Virginia Medicaid to be able to give the people of West Virginia an option. Wow. Really important stuff. Dr. Jason Kirby from Gateway Rehab. Really appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate All right. it. Thanks Thank so much. Yeah. And when we return, calling inclusive voices to the table to help build bridges across our region. Please stay with us.